Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Euler's formula to come up with a bunch of trig identities. This is super, super powerful. So check this out. So first, let's come up with um, some identities involving x plus y. So if you have e to the i x times e to the i y, that's equal to e. And what you do is you just add the exponents, right? So it would be i x plus i y. Then you can pull out an i, so you get i x plus y. So this is i and then x plus y. So now we can use Euler's formula. So on the left hand side we have e to the i x that'll be cosine x plus i sine y, i sine x, sorry. And then here we have cosine y plus i sine y. Right? That's e to the i y. And that's equal to the right-hand side, which is cosine x plus y plus i sine x plus y. This is super powerful because if you forget the trig identities that you're about to see, um, you can always do this in like under a minute and come up with them. All right, so now we're going to multiply. And the way we're going to multiply is the way that pros do it. <laughs> so let's see. So cosine x times cosine y is cosine x cosine y. Okay. And then I guess we'll just foil. <laughs> and then cosine x times i sine y is going to be plus i cosine x sine y. That takes care of the cosine x. The middle term would be i sine x cosine y, so plus i sine x cosine y. And the last would be i and i is i squared, so that would be um, negative 1 sine x sine y, right? i squared is negative 1. That's equal to cosine of x plus y plus i sine of x plus y. So again, let me recap what we've done because this is super useful in like your math life. So if you memorize this, okay, and then remember if you want to come up with the sum formulas, uh, the trig sum formulas, you have e to the i x times e to the i y, that's equal to e to the i x plus y. Then you just use Euler's, boom, boom. And now watch this, group together the real parts. So this is the real part. So cosine x, cosine y, real part, right? It doesn't have an i, it's called the real part, minus sine x, sine y. That's the real part, I'll put it in parentheses, plus, and then now look at the imaginary parts. That's these here. You can pull out an i, okay? So plus i, this is cosine x, sine y, plus sine x, cosine y. And that's equal to the right-hand side. So this is cosine x plus y, okay, plus i sine x plus y. And look at that. We have two amazing trig identities. So cosine of x plus y is equal to this. So cosine of x plus y, right, because two complex numbers are equal when the real parts are equal. So this must be equal to this. And then when the imaginary parts are equal, so this must be equal to, um, to this here. That would mean that cosine of x plus y is all of this stuff on the left. So cosine x, cosine y, minus sine x, sine y. Likewise, uh, sine x plus y, that's going to be, um, I guess it's going to be this piece here, right? This, this second box. So cosine x, sine y plus sine x cosine y. And that's it. That's how you come up with these formulas. You can do the same thing to get the one with the, with the minus by putting a minus here and a minus here and just work through it. And then you also have to use the fact that cosine is even. That means it eats negative signs. Okay. And then sine is odd. So if you have the sine of negative x, you will get negative sine x. So if you do this on your own for practice, you can change this to a minus and then use these and you should be able to get the other formulas. Just kind of a cool thing that uh, I learned a long time ago, I figured I'd share. I uh, hope that was helpful, that's it.